Well, Jacob, it's cold tonight for me. You know that, oh, but yeah. it sounds like it's just going to get colder. Yes, and it's going to come abruptly, too, on Wednesday and into Thursday. Check out the temperatures right now, though. One degree in Grand Forks, nine in Fargo. Although we can't really pick up the low clouds that well on satellite, all of us kind of under those low clouds, except the Red River Valley with the clear skies. Those temperatures can drop down a lot further. We're kind of seeing, seeing stable temperatures through the overnight with these teens and low 20s. A weak disturbance in northeastern Montana. That'll bring some light snow to northern North Dakota. As we go into our Sunday, you can see that on our hour by hour forecast. Most areas just stay overcast with a few flurries possible throughout the day, but it's a persistent band of some light snow along and north of US 2 that's possible, especially by the afternoon hours. This might get going a little bit more with a few more scattered snow showers possible, a little bit closer to I-94, but mostly north of the interstate into our Sunday evening. Temperatures in the teens by that point was still a lot of cloud cover. And then into our Monday, we'll have mostly dry conditions by that point. We could actually see a little bit of some clearing with a southwest wind developing but only between 5 and 15 miles per hour but the snow forecast shows the potential for about one to three inches right near the Canadian border otherwise expect just a dusting Minot should pick up less than an inch of snow as we go through tomorrow overnight temperatures tonight in the teens with that cloud cover sticking in place and overcast skies for our Sunday with those snow showers uh, along our northern tier counties around 30 degrees for a high tomorrow in Dickinson into Monday mostly low 20s for highs maybe a bit of clearing into the afternoon hours and some early morning sunshine on Tuesday before a system comes in and that'll bring the much colder air for the middle and latter portions of the week on Wednesday. But for the next three days, just five to 15 mile per hour winds expected, nothing too crazy. It's into Wednesday when our winds will be increasing in a big way. We'll have wind gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour by later in the day as this Arctic air rushes in behind a cold front. So temperatures will peak in the morning or midday hours before falling through the afternoon. So here is that hour by hour forecast for Tuesday and into Wednesday as the clipper comes out of Alberta bringing a band of snow on Tuesday night. One to three inches of accumulation expected with this system. But again, it's behind the front when our windy and frigid conditions enter our region and that'll settle in and and stick with us for quite some time. Here's that wind chill forecast starting off Wednesday midday. Arctic air rushing in from the northwest will be sub zero for many days here as we go through Thursday, starting off the day in the 20s to near 30 degrees below zero with these dangerous wind chills into Friday morning in the 20s and 30s below zero. Friday night and into Saturday morning could be the coldest night with most areas in the 30s below zero for those wind chills. So we're stuck in the cold here for the next six to 10 days, even into the eight to 14 day forecast in the high confidence category for below normal temperatures. So in it for the long haul here. Once we see that pattern change on Wednesday, there'll be some snow showers along with that clipper system, maybe some blowing snow, but it's those sub zero temperatures later in the forecast that we need to keep our eyes on and some breezy conditions at that point too. So with the wind chills, it's not going to be pleasant to be outside. So even though we'll be seasonable these next couple days, some light snow chances, it's going to be a lot better through Tuesday before our temperatures drop like a rock. We went from above <laughs> zero to, or above normal in December and to now below normal. Yes, so that's what's going it on. It kind of came back Why? to bite. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Jacob? All right, all right, thanks, Jacob. You're welcome. All right.